Ever since the final episode of Hawkeye aired, there's been a little bit of a blowback that I've seen in regards to how Kingpin, aka Wilson Fisk, was handled. Specifically, that they didn't really explain or show flashbacks to who he was to catch the audience up. I'm going to go over why this was handled the way it was. So to preface this, this is not one of my complaints. I do not personally have this complaint, but I have had quite a lot, even more so than normal people reach out to me that are fans of the CBC and want me to talk about this specific issue because many of their casual friends or friends that like the MCU but never watched any of the Netflix stuff had no idea who Wilson Fisk was. And one comment, uh, complaint, and thing that I saw people wanting me to address was, why didn't they just include flashbacks? They included a couple flashbacks to Ronan. They always include a couple flashbacks here or there to try to catch up with where the character is now, where they came from. Why didn't they just show us how far Kingpin has come? Show us him fighting Daredevil. Show us his plan. Have him do the, when I was a boy, or... This is where I've been up to. Give us a couple minutes of exposition and a couple flashbacks. And I agree 100% that they should have done something more because, again, I have family members. Like my dad, for example, he's watched all of the Netflix shows. So he understood. He was like, oh, Kingpin's back. Perfect. And I was talking to him and he was excited. But one of my other cousins, he's never seen any of the other Marvel TV shows, only the Disney Plus stuff. And he was like, I have no idea who this is. What's the big deal? What? who's the Kingpin, right? He's a, he's more of a casual. He doesn't even know Kingpin from the comics or anything. He's never seen the old Ben Affleck Daredevil film. So fresh. And he was like, I don't get it. What? Why? So that therein lies a problem that I agree with. But the answer to this is that they were not allowed to. Marvel Studios could not legally show you anything. And there is probably a degree to them not even being able to mention certain things because of the licensing. Now, for those of you that don't know, Netflix was the distribution. They were the exclusive owner and distributor and locked those characters down. The shows were produced by Marvel Entertainment TV and ABC. So yes, Disney was involved, ABC was involved, Marvel TV aka Marvel Entertainment was involved, but Marvel Studios was not. They were producing stuff under their own Marvel Studios banner. When those contracts were locked into Netflix, that guarantees them that that is their own footage. That is theirs. Unless they bought the entire catalog and picked up what they had, much like when you see other TV series get canceled. For example, Netflix picked up a couple of canceled shows. They pick up the entire back catalog and they go through all the legal things they need to to be able to acquire everything, to do flashbacks and everything. Netflix and Disney have a very bad relationship. And until that license runs out where... Netflix can either opt to renew it permanently or Disney, ABC, everybody involved lets it expire and then they go, well, now we can put this on another service we have, which would be maybe Hulu or FX or whatever. They're going to be forever locked to Netflix and legally Disney could not show anything and they wanted to avoid doing the, well, let me tell you about it because that could cause a lot more confusion because if Fisk shows up and you have no idea who he is and he goes, I fought the devil of Hell's Kitchen. That means nothing to you. So the simple reason is, logistically and illegally, they were not allowed. 